Hello and welcome to the how-to video series. In this video, we will look at how to integrate Networker Auth C with Active Directory. Active Directory is basically an external repository for um, Networker and to set it up, log into your Networker Management Console, go into the Setup tab and on the left hand pane under Users and Roles, click on External Authority. And again on the right uh, right hand pane or on the left hand pane you can click on new. So this is the window wherein you will be putting in the configuration for uh, configuring the external authority uh, which is integration with the Active Directory. Uh, click on the show advanced options to display all the information or all the uh, parameters that you need to put in. The first step is to change the server type from LDAP to Active Directory because that is what we are going to configure here. So authority name can be any name that can help you recognize the external authority configuration. So we'll just name it uh, 30DC. Uh, the provider name is the name of the domain controller. In our case, it is DC1. 30.com. The domain that we are going to integrate this with is crazy0.com. The port number is by default. Uh, the port number for the IDA protocol or LDAP protocol. Uh, user DN is the binding user that is required. Uh, this user is an AD user which has read only access to the entire uh, objects or is capable of listing all the objects within your Active Directory. In our case, it is going to be Rovin. And if you see it, it says user DN and DN stands for distinguished name, which is uh, the complete path to the user object in the Active Directory and to get this let's quickly jump on to the AD server and here if you see the um, uh, Active Directory users and computers tool the user that I want to configure is in here under the under the user container under the crazyrove.com um, domain and if I go ahead and go to the properties and uh, account I'll see that the user name is Rohan. So I want the DN for this, the distinguished name. And the easiest way to get this is to go to the ADI edit tool, connect to the Active Directory. And since we know that uh, the user that we require is under crazyrove.com and under users container. And inside this container, I'll have to search for the user that we require, which is this one here. And then go to the properties. And in the list, I have to search for distinguished name, which is right here, and click on view. This is distinguished name for the user that I am. I need to configure the binding user for. And let's go ahead and get back to the NMC here, or the NMC here, and. Uh, put in the password as well uh, this is optional but I recommend uh, you add this as well so group search path and user search path the details regarding the group search path parameter and the user search path and why these um, uh, parameters are required is in the video where I have described the entire process in detail uh, the link to the video is in the description and there is also an article to the um, to this topic uh, the link to that article is in the description as well so let's go ahead and find the uh, search path for our group and for this I'm going to switch back to my active directory again cancel here on the AD tool I know that the group that I'm looking for is in here and the container for that particular group is CN group so I'm going to right click here, go to the properties and get the distinguished name. This is supposed to be, uh, this parameter is just the relative distinguished name, which means that I don't have to mention the domain uh, part of the distinguished name. So I just need the rest of the string. So I'm just copying the rest of the string here and then switching back to my NMC and mentioning that group search path here and then for the user search path again I have to jump back to the active directory server and uh, most of my users are under this container which is user 
and go back to the properties there and find the distinguished name and this is again a relative distinguished name and uh, I don't have to give the complete path just the relative path jump over here and then paste this in as well and this is all the configuration uh, that is required let's go ahead and click on OK and you'll see that the authority authentication authority provider was successfully created which means that we have now completed the integration part once this is done we will have to add the users uh, which is the authentication part of the configuration and for the authorization part of the configuration we have authorization at two levels at the uh, NMC and a networker as well so let's go ahead and see how to achieve that let's go to users right click say new I'm going to add a user here for the external authority that is under the under my domain click on OK so that particular user is added let me jump back to my AD and uh, check if that user is a part of the groups that I need added yeah so the group backup operation is the group so once this user is added now the uh, next part is the authorization wherein I have to add that user to the respective um, uh, groups so I'm going to add that user to the console ad application administrator group so that it has or that user has access to all of the uh, servers and configuration on uh, and is able to complete all the configuration on the NMC so um, to do this you I'm just going to go into NMC roles and then go into the properties of the console application administrator and add the DN for the security group that I have into the external roles so again to get the security group I'm going to go in here the DN of the security group will be under here distinguished name just copy this OK get back to the NMC and place the name in here and we say OK so all this configuration has to be done uh, while being logged in as an administrator uh, no other user can uh, do this so only the members part of the console administration or console security administration administrators can do this um, configuration so now that we have completed the authorization on the NMC let's go ahead and complete the authorization on the networker as well so for this uh, we are going into the respective networker administration console and uh, clicking on the server tab we will have to go into the user group section on the left hand side and as you can see there are a number of uh, groups created here and uh, to have a user as an administrator we need that user to be added to the application administrators group and in here uh, you have to again provide the uh, user as the uh, again you'll have to provide the security group of the respective user in the configuration uh, section uh, under external roles so as you see this particular uh, entry is already existing so let's click on cancel and that's all the configuration that you need to do now so let's go ahead and try and uh, log in into the NMC with the new user so we say connect continue we have our login here login prompt you have to mention the complete path or complete domain name username I think that is what the use password is okay and as you can see here so if you can see here I have logged in as uh, the user that we have added and let's try and launch the networker administration console with this particular user and there you have it we have launched the networker administration as well 
and I will be able to do everything that I can, can do as an administrator. This is how you configure the AD integration with the Networker Authentication Service. Again, for more details uh, or detailed video and a detailed article, you can check for the link in the description. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.